<laughs> you guys have to do some serious editing because I'm like, you know, like what, what next, what next? Hi, very good morning. Welcome to Charutar Crocodile Count CCC 2024. Uh, so it's really amazing to come out here to Charothar and uh, encounter this landscape where crocs are living in these ponds and canals across the entire landscape uh, in such close proximity to people, uh, to the fishermen that use these uh, these ponds, uh, and to have so little conflict, uh, so much uh, acceptance of the crocodiles from the people, and apparently so much acceptance of the uh, people uh, by the crocodiles. You can see just behind me. There are participants who are conducting population survey. This area, Charutar, is very unique when it comes to crocodile. About 30 villages are having more than 200 crocodiles living with human, and there is no conflict. and the acceptance that the villages have is really unique it's seen in very few places even for harmless species usually itna you don't see the acceptance and um the willingness to protect them but here to see something that can potentially harm humans still being embraced by the communities is really beautiful and here main objective is that uh, to educate participants about uh, coexistence of uh, crocodiles in this charothar area with humans we specifically do concentrate on crocodiles but then we also cover up a few birding species that is because these people those who come in over here they need to understand the various ecological factors and the whole ecosystem in general to understand the crocodile behavior they have the technology they have drones they have good cameras so they can actually do the monitoring part of the work very easily very efficiently they just have to take one round of the drone and they're done but they're involving all of us all of our students just to do this so that we really understand the essence of the work that they do and it's really helping the community because we got to interact with people in the villages and yeah we now we really understand what a marvel this landscape is because of the coexistence and how peacefully they've been living together humans and crocodiles so the fact that they take the effort to just take around a bunch like bunch of like 20 30 people at one time and we're doing these surveys it's really nice that they thought to involve us and it's a good citizen science project <laughs>